For generations, the forest gave life to our families. A beautiful life. In the forest, we thrived. But the earth changed. The fish in the rivers disappeared. The fruits dried from the ground, and our people began to perish. King Itaki decreed that no child be born until the gods smiled upon the forest once again. A child born would be sacrificed to Tupa, the god who gives life to the forest. Yasa, the daughter of the king, was with child for the first time, unknown to her father. King Itaki left the village to search the earth for food, to plead with the gods for grace before the child was born. But the heavens were closed. The day arrived and the child was born. Sacrifice was promised. For many days, Yasa lay in her hut, unable to move from a broken heart, and the gods heard her cry. The husband and the king found the body of Yasa laying among the gifts from the gods. The gods had left the purple fruit that would save our village and bring great prosperity to our people for generations to come. Kinitaki, in honor of his daughter Yasa, reversed the letters of her name and called the magical fruit. Asai!
de Belém do Pará. Hey!